Seven wonders, seven, seven heaven. heaven Wherever you are, turn to one away, praise the seven I realized that I was great when I was seven Given the secret weapon, praise what I was destined Anointed with teaching lessons, hooked up with the oasis Fine tuning the basics, spreading vision like basic Kicking it like some basics, Jesus the one that saved it Holy Spirit amazing, like one away, gotta place it P and Carol, hot at the barrel, like P Carol Sharper than the arrow, eyes on the sparrow Got the legal beagle, helping people with all their legals Watch the prequel, the sequel, and the people, and it's all legal Number one artist, play right and paralegal That's the top leaders leading the league So why you leaving? One away praise, praising the gospel is where we be at Essence, Stellar and Trumpet, that's where we be at How the show blazing the charts, so let's begin Rockin' with you with seven, rockin' with you with seven Rockin' with you with seven, rockin' with you with seven Rockin' with you with seven, rockin' with you with seven Rockin' with you with seven, rockin' with you with seven Yo, yo, we on 108 Praise, Voice of the Gospel. This is your boy, Poetic, and... Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rockin' with you with seven. 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 Hey, man, what a what an amazing week. I'm telling you, oh my God, it's an amazing week. I'm so exhausted. But you know, I love that intro song. You was hype on that. Hey, hey got 108 Praise lit right there. You did. You made that song. That's our intro song. It is the bomb diggity. Woo, yes, sir. Woo. Hope y'all feeling that. If you are, just let us know. Let Leave us, us know some that comments. You like it. Call in. Let's talk about what yeah. we're gonna talk about today. We got a special guest in the studio. Oh, we do. That's my special butter roll that's here today. <laughs> Minute large. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Dave Tolliver. Mr. Dave. Y'all better get ready. We about to just get to rocking. But but first of all, first up, first up, first hold the brakes, hold oh, the phone. Hold the what happened last weekend? Please tell us. What happened last weekend is your girl. <laughs> yes, me. I drove mm-hmm. all the way to New Orleans, Uh-oh. Louisiana. Down in the dirty. Oh, no, it was so clean. Oh, in the clean. Oh, she in the (laughs) clean south. I ain't been there, but. I wasn't in the dirty. (laughs) No, I was down there with all the wonderful Cajun food and Mm. the wonderful hospitality of our people. What did you eat? I didn't get a chance to eat. I was so busy at the festival, I didn't get a chance to eat. Oh, boy. I didn't. How you go to New Orleans and don't eat no gumbo? You know, I didn't get no gumbo. I did get me some shrimp, but, man, I was so tired. I didn't get time to even eat it. I was at concerts, to interviews, to concerts, to interviews, to shows. I was like. No jambalaya? No oyster po' boy? No. Oh, boy. <laughs> Went to New Orleans and didn't even get the best commodity, the food. But anyway, the second best is the party. The so you went to oh everything. Then, I did. You? I did. When I first got there, I was exhausted, but I went straight in. And as I walked into the press room, mm. Smokey Norfolk was there. Oh, oh gosh, Smokey! Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He was there. So, you know me, I had to ask a couple of questions and stuff, you know, about right. the smoke, smoke. You know, he had it going on with the knife, right. the two, two, two. Yay! Right. I love me some smoke, you know. And I took a picture with him, too. He is so fine. Uh oh. Well, yeah. He didn't blow my mind, but he's <laughs> so fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, after boy. I interviewed Smokey Norfolk, oh my gosh, as I was coming out to take a break, mm-hmm. I was going to the bathroom, and guess who I ran into? Who did you run into? Fred Hammond! Fred Hammonds? Yes. Oh, your boy yes, now. My boy. Yes. Fred, you know, you've been knowing Fred for a long time. A long time. I've been knowing Fred probably since 2000 and probably 2013, 14. And did you guys get reacquainted? I don't know what you meant by that. <laughs> what are you trying did to say? Did y'all catch up on old <laughs> times? Because I know he was in the magazine yes. at some point. Yes. And I did. Fred was walking down the hallway. I said, oh my gosh, Fred. He looked at me. I said, Y'all remember me, Fred? I said, remember I did a story on you about the guy, the little boy that was loved but not liked? Mm, and yes. And I said, did you ever get the magazine? He says, well, no, I didn't. I said, ooh, I got one. I started digging in my suitcase. I said, oh, you had one right with here. you? I had it with me. You oh, know, I boy. Did. I put out the magazine with Fred on the cover, and he says, wow, I never got this. I said, oh, So man. he started walking. I said, don't be walking away. You got to take a picture of me, Fred. Hold that magazine up. <laughs> 
So now it's solidified. It Fred, solidified. you got the magazine with yes. you on the cover. Yes. You the man. Yes. Thank you. Thank Oasis you, Oasis official. That's my Ms. Butter, Carol bro. solidified another one of her contacts. I did. That was so cool. And I hugged at him, and we took a picture. Uh-oh. And all that. I don't know what you're on about because, oh, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. This lady was like, uh, uh, excuse me for a second. I have to get a kiss with him. And I was like, who kiss. That, who that lady is, right? Kiss. Yeah, she said a kiss. Oh, she's boy. talking with Fred, right? And I said, um, okay, so I let her buy. You know, she got a little kiss with Fred. I'm like, okay. So let me tell you what happened after that. I was headed over to um, get me some food, right? Mm hmm. And I was like, all these millions of people were crowded up by the stage. I said, who are y'all over there for? They said, Alana Von Zant. So I looked up on the stage. I said, oh, that's the lady that pushed me out the way for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> she ought to be ashamed of herself. Oh, but she was not ashamed. She, she was so happy to get that kiss with Fred. It didn't matter about no, me. Oh, have mercy. I'm going to take her to counseling for that one, Eliana. Oh, boy. Eliana had to... it going on. That lady is so tight. That lady left some powerful words that it had you going, man, if the relationship ain't right, get the heck up out of it. For Deep real. thought. It was serious talk. Deep thought. It was deep, deep, deep. She be super deep. Oh, but she's serious. She was so deep. I had to start watching her show because I didn't have no scuba gear. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It was so deep. That's cool. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, I was like, ooh, you got to be a woman to appreciate all this stuff. She be saying, I think. Uh, it was almost as bad as you say it rains fish. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah, we love you. It's all good. Shout out uh, to the OWN Network. Listen, so didn't we have some footage from you live at the Essence? I took a lot of footage live at the Essence. I did some updates about how I did was doing a concert with Janet Jackson, mm -hmm. the concert with Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. SWV, uh -oh. Escape, mm. um, Erica Badu, Queen Latifah. Badu? No, you didn't name my girl. Uh, 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 uh. Wait till I really name your girl. You didn't name my girl. How Wait. you gonna name all these people? The girl that you really got to name you for? Met my favorite artist. I did, and she was such a kind, sweet. Ashanti. Yeah. If you're listening, she didn't mean it. I sh I'll say your name first. Uh, Whatever. You met Mur uh, You met the first lady of Murder Inc. Uh, what? Shut my the era. Door. In my era of music, the golden era. You of know what? She was so awesome though. Oh, she's man. beautiful inside and out. Mm, mm, when mm, I tell mm. you, she don't look like she's aged at all. And she got to be pushing your age, ain't you pushing fifty? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm 25. <laughs> oh, for the next 25 years. I shut the door. <laughs> What you talking about? Uh, oh, whatever. Ladies, ladies, whatever. people, <laughs> gentlemen, everybody, 25. Okay, so Ashanti. Yeah. And you got a chance to meet her manager, I who met is her, her mom. Her mother is right? just as gorgeous as she is. Yes. Her mom is beautiful. I met her mom. I met Ashanti. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you she's very meek and very humble and very gracious. A great I mean, spirit. Yeah, she's just a beautiful person. It, it makes you wonder, you know, the people that make it in the industry. Yeah. When you meet them behind the scenes, right. you're like, okay, I understand. God blesses the good, yeah, and yeah, yeah, the yeah. humble at heart, and and it's and it's amazing sometimes when yeah. you, when you get a chance to experience that. Yes. So, voice in the gospel. Voice that was the, the plug. Gospel. That was it. That was That's a god it. plug. Right? That was it. That was it. <laughs> That's it. Oh man. So yeah, we got an amazing show planned for you guys, and um, we're gonna get right in the thick of things. Getting ready for it. So you're gonna play some of that live footage for us. Oh, I you guess. interviewing backstage? I guess. Essence if, if, if Mr. Mr. C three over there, Mr. Courtney got it going on with the nine one one, the two two two. You want to play oh, a little man. something? something She's something notorious that I had. for calling out the producers, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know if it ain't played right, it ain't because I ain't giving the she footage. She's notorious okay? for making plugs on the producer. <laughs> Look, he pulled a plug. We all done. Hey, no more live. Zero no more. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I do I my love job. I, I just love want it. you to know, <laughs> right? Courtney sent me out there in the hot heat and the thick of things oh, no, by myself, fault. and I gave him all the coverage. You are throwing all, all the, the way under the bus. Live interviews. You throwing him under the school bus under, or the Greyhound bus? Under. I gave him Escape. I gave him <laughs> SWV. I he ain't. What? I love see, it. See what I mean? See what I, I mean? love it. I even took everybody into the you, audience you where Mary J. Blige was just <laughs> dropping it like it was hot. I'm telling hey, you, I listeners, took them in the thick of if, it. If you want to get thrown all the way under the bus, oh, Jesus. let Miss Carol know your business. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're going to make Wanda come out. <laughs> right. And you really don't want Wanda. You don't want Wanda oh, to come boy. out. No, 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 you don't. I'm telling you. Oh, it's so hot in here. Courtney, we, don't you got we some got air? We got it rocking at, at 7. It's only 10 minutes into it, and we already in it. 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to get in the thick of things. You know what you, I'm you'll saying? You'll get in the thick of things? I'm Look, thick I'm things. mad you didn't get in the thick sauce when you was down there and get uh, no thick gumbo. Oh, I and tried. And bring back no... I tried, but then I had Courtney call me saying, are you at the concert? Are you at the concert? <laughs> <laughs> Again. I dropped the food going, okay, I'm on my way. Mary's on stage. Okay. Oh, man. So I tried. Never a dull moment. Oh, I did everything I could do the right way, and I still can't do it right. But you, you notoriously forget to eat, though. Even when you're here, you forget to eat. You know what? Mm-hmm. Now I'm I throwing you so under the bus. I be so busy because you be having me. Miss Carolyn, did you do I this? Be, did you do that? Did you do this? Proper, did you do that? Is that yeah, I be I be doing things right. Language. <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> you know, I'll say shut up because that's true. I say shut it down. I shut it Ms. down. Carol, okay, okay, you. okay. Y'all see how we get it on 108 This is how here. we do. This is how we do it. Okay, never mind. Never so mind. you know what it was like backstage at <sighs> Essence this oh, Jesus, past weekend, oil. right? It was the bomb. It was so the bomb. I mean, I was going from the press room to the concert. Mm-hmm. Then there was like, Carolyn, Carolyn. I'm like, what? Who's out there? They said, uh, oh, you didn't know? Janet's here. Janet's in the press room. I miss Janet in the press room. Shut the door. You miss Janet? Because they told me Janet wasn't coming in the press room. So I was like mm. packing up my stuff. And then Courtney said, did you get Janet? Uh, 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 well, I could go <laughs> back. when I'm tired. And I'm I tired. heard Janet was... Um, Janet was in low spirits because, you know, she just her lost father. her father. Yeah, um, shout R. out to you. To, yeah. um, to Joe Jackson. Yes, yes. That was pretty, pretty, pretty different. There you go. Oh. So, um, you know, I know he had gotten sick. I was on um, I was on the air with uh, Miss uh, Shea Starr with um, the Hype Magazine, and she had given him a shout out that night because he had fell ill. Mm. And they had put him to bed rest. And I was like, oh, okay, he'll pull through. And then now, by the time our next show comes up, boom, he's gone. And then yeah, she had yeah. to perform yeah, through and Essence. Yeah, still had to go on. And her father had just passed. Just and passed so away. I'm sure that was kind of tough for her. And, I, you know, it would have been, you know, good to, to see. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they're professionals. They've been professionals for many, many years. But right. it's still something that's personal you don't yeah, expect to most happen. Most definitely. So. Most definitely. I see. We got some footage Well, you know, um, Courtney's been showing some photos up there. Oh, that's the girl, LMA. That's the girl. That's the boo. The boo song. <laughs> they, they talk about that boo song. Boot up. Yeah, the boot up song. Let me tell you what's so cool about her. She's English and she was talking from England and stuff. And all of a sudden, I, I called my kids. I said, "Do you know this person?" I said, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Mom is telling me! Oh my god!" They said, "What? What, mom? Mom, go give me an autograph." I chased this girl down backstage. I said, "Miss Ellie May." I said, "Could you please sign this for my child?" What's your child's name? I said, "Star Hold and up. Maya." She didn't say that. She said, "What? What is her name?" Oh, what? She did. She said, "And is it spelled M A?" And I said, "Yes, it is." She said, "Okay, I will write down." So star S T A R. I said. Yes, it is. S T R R. And that's it, Maya. M Y A. And she signed it, and my kids were screaming. They were on FaceTime, and I'm showing her, like, oh my God, mommy, you're really showing her. She's really there. I'm like, yeah, she's there. But because I don't know a lot of the artists and the kids and what they know, I was like, okay, I didn't understand the concept of how important she was and how famous she was, but it was so cool. She gave an autograph and a shout out to my kids, and I thought that was so special. And then it was so funny, my niece, Hasha Queen, and she's back there, and she says, Auntie, you saw her. I said, yeah, I did. Oh, my God. The song, boo. I said, oh, I don't know that song, Anisi. But if you were there, you could have went and met her, too. She was like, oh, my God. My auntie knows everybody. But when I interviewed Escape, oh, I see the picture you got up there, Courtney, of Escape. And let me tell you, them girls were on point for the nation. They performed their butts off. They were amazing. Escape Mm-mm. was so amazing. Always. Remember, we saw them at the Trumpet Awards, yes. and they did a, a phenomenal job. They did. I mean, they had on their all white. And they it was did. Oh, yeah, they just did. Just prancing around, yeah. doing their thing. And when they hit the stage, it was excellent. So they I was were. like, man, they see, were I don't excellent. remember this from back in my childhood. What Maybe I blocked them out or something. <laughs> Maybe it was so many groups, you know. Oh. I was an SWV SW- fan. Okay. Well, you know what? SWV, when they came into the press room, you know, you know how your manager try to rush you and rush you. I'm like, ah, oh, no, wait, waking. I was by the door. I said, excuse me, could you please take a picture with me? And they's like, but they're in a, no, no, no. She says, I'm gonna take a picture with you. And if I get fired and lose my contract, uh, I said, you ain't losing nothing because you know why? I'm with 108 Praise Radio. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> and Oasis Montage magazine. I said, believe me, you ain't going to lose no contracts because you guys are the bomb. And I'm so glad that you guys are together. They talked about the reality show. Right. They talked about all the, the negative things that people mm-hmm. have said. And they said, you know what? We do what we do because we love what we do. And if you love us, give us a shout that you love us. But if you right. don't, stop hating on us. This yeah. ta- They take it personal. We have a life. We are real people. We bleed. We pry. We cry like everybody else. And right. so... If you don't like us, that's fine. But don't be saying mean, <coughs> cruel things. Yeah, it's something to see because you wonder why they have so much tension between them when you watch the show. Yeah. And it's probably because of all the influx of yes. negativity. Yes. You know, but I, I like I said, I'm going to give one of my quotes, okay? Uh, uh, I have haters, but uh, they're the minority. They are. Of my click. Click. So yeah. you got to make the haters be your minority and yes. you got to put up that Trump wall. Oh, that's the only time I'm going to plug you in the life, <laughs> Trump. Right there. You Go gotta, for it. you Mr. gotta put Poetic. up that Trump wall for when you got haters in your Poetic. life, and make sure Poetic. that they are the minority, yes. and then and keep it moving. Because yeah. what what did uh, our girl used to say? Let your haters be your motivators. That's hey. it. And that's so it. That's what it takes. I mean, because they will tear you down, oh, and boy. they'll spit you out, and they'll throw you to the lions and the wolves and the dog a pack, pack of dogs, Thank and you. you'll be sitting there wondering why, what why, why happened. You know what? The word says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Treat people the way you want to be treated, <laughs> not how they treat you. Because there's some mean, cruel people out in, there. In the world. I've had people what pretend to be me, me, take my business All from me. All claiming to be Christians. They do. Courtney, let me tell you what happened to me. <laughs> let me tell you what happened to Butterell. This girl pretended to be me, saying mm. she owned my magazine, mm. she owned my business, and was out there selling stuff. And I was like, Really? Really? You are not me. And then I had to go turn her into the police department. Yeah. I did because and, it was getting old. And they keep going with They it. don't stop. They won't stop they until you stop, stop them. And so that's why that's why you don't let things go unchecked. That's it. You know, we in this business the only thing we have is our reputation. That's <coughs> it. And it mean and and if you do things for the right reasons and we put God first in everything we do. Don't there. we do that? Poetic. Don't we put God first in everything we do? Absolutely. That's right. That's why we in a, a butter roll, that's my in partner. In our relationships yes. and how we live and how we come interact Amen. with people and how we do our music and how we do our acting Amen. and how we do everything that we everything. do, we put God first. Put so God first. that shows him that we want him to bless what we do. That's right. So that's why it's Bless. Other than that, is that is that where you came up with bless the seeds? Because you want him to bless, bless the, the seeds. seeds. Give yeah. him better life and help him fight to believe. Yeah. Give him foresight so these right stick a seed. Yeah. Take him out the streets because I don't want to see him bleed. No. Hey, we need Dave. We need Dave. Is it time for Dave? It's time for or Dave. Or is it time for commercial? Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a short break. Shout out to everybody that's listening. Shout out. Tell everybody else to come on and listen in. Invite listen your friends. In. Invite everybody. One way praise. Holla. Yeah, of course. Holla, 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 holla. Oasis Montage Show. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Hey, Dave. We need to be in Houston. Um, matter of fact, here. Here's the information on that. I can't wait to come home. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. there. Yeah, we'll be there. It's the only place right. I want to be. Yeah. You already know why. I mean, it's more than that, but... <laughs> Why though? <laughs> yeah. I ain't even gotta say it no more. I know I'm on my way though. Get ready. Early in the morning when I'm standing at attention. I'm missing your attention. And the smell of your love all over me. I mean all over me. Nothing better than waking up to perfection. So perfected, it's leaving me with no question That this is where I want to be To put it in perspective, I've given up the quest now I can't wait to come home You know what? first thing smoking, baby, oh, I'm drinking Oh yeah, I'm here on the road I'm here on the road I'm stacking all this dough Gotta get you satisfied Talking about this face, really. 
day, day. We need to be in Houston. Um, matter of fact, here. Here's the information on that. I can't wait to come home. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Hey, we back right here back. on 108 Praise, Voice yeah. in the Gospel. We got our boy in the building. That's tell, my boy. What you mean, your us, boy? Tell us who we got in the building. We got my butter roll. That's my That's <laughs> my <laughs> boy. I'm just saying. What up, though? Hey, Dave. Didn't, didn't I tell you she throw me under the bus every time? <laughs> yeah. I can't even act like I know somebody. She's like, no, that's mine. That's, that, me. that's my butter roll. What's up, brother? Good to have you. Did you just call me butter roll? That's my butter roll. All the time. <laughs> 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 I, I just realized that you was calling me Butter Roll. Ladies butter and gentlemen, Rose. we got Dave Tolliver from none other than Men at Large in the building. Can we get an applause? Yes, hey, yes, yes. shout out for my buddy. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, uh, okay, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's good to have you, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. It's it's. I, mean, uh, I love, you know, this platform, internet. I, I started my career, ca- career, my <laughs> career off with traditional career. radio, man, but uh, career, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I just, I'm just appreciative for this platform because I, I try to tell all my 90s cats, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all still act like we tops on the charts. Bro. But the, a lot of these internet platforms have so many... Uh, Avenues of getting you paid. Listeners, viewers, and I'm saying it's instantly international. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that's so, what's you so know, cool. You can't always share the traditional radio sites. Right. You know what I mean? So right. That's right. They don't listen to me, man. Right. You know, I'm better. And, but and, know, but that's why one. we got you here, bro, because the first that uh, led me to my first question is uh, that uh, the, the, the industry now. Oh, mm. man. When I came into the industry, it was right before this internet stuff. So I knew nothing of it. Yeah. But when you was established in the industry. It was way before this industry. This Stone industry Age. Stuff. Just call me Fred Flintstone of Bro. the game. Aww. So tell us what's the <laughs> difference between, because you have survived, you have eaten, you have done everything yes. that an yes, artist is supposed have. to do to stay relevant and yes. stay positive in this business. Man, I, you know, I, I appreciate y'all recognizing that, man. I, I try really hard, man. And as much as they try to close the door, uh, door mm-hmm. on me, I, I just, when I was just telling, is that your daughter? Her niece. My, my niece, Yachaquina. I, I yeah. was just out there just telling her, you know, just giving her the game. I'm definitely going to send you an invoice, Carol. <laughs> uh, the difference um, now. This right here is the butter roll that got the money. Okay. See, he platinum. See, <laughs> always thrown under the bus. Right. <laughs> so um, my, my, my thing is uh, today, people don't have to have any talent whatsoever. Thank you. It's, it's Ain't not, that a trip? It's not too much. It's not too much talent out there. I mean... I think the last viable source of talent that we have and that we that that won't change is mm-hmm. is TV, right. minus your reality shows. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, uh, I was just telling her. I said back in the days, people looked for talent. People they had talent shows, right. mm-hmm. auditions. Yeah, they right. went around the country yeah. searching for great exactly. talent. But right. now it's like. Okay, they sitting back and they looking online to see who has the most followers mm-hmm. and see Ain't how that a hot mess. and see how we can possibly take their no talent and use their numbers to overcompensate <laughs> right. for what they don't have. Gimmicks, yeah, you know, and, and I mean they 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 they, they try to get the, they say the eighties music was gimmicks mm-hmm. with the punk rock look and all that stuff, but those cats still had talent. They, they, could they still sing. could sing or yeah. they put on productions with dancing. Yeah. And, right, man. I, I don't know, man. Like, I, my daughter sings and my son yeah. raps. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my daughter is only 12 and she is. Oh, wow. I was, oh. She's, man. And uh, my son is 20 mm-hmm. and, he, and he raps about a lot of the same stuff these guys rap about. But okay. he puts it together. Like, he puts together metaphor. I said, man, you've been studying your daddy. <laughs> All right. I said, right. you know, he didn't get the singing bug. So, I mm-hmm. mean, he didn't get the right. singing uh, chops. But okay. he, he's learning it. And, it, you know, but... um. Yeah, man, the game has changed, man. I was talking to my man Jeff from Intro about that the other day, Mm -hmm. and I was like, they totally, you know, have disrespected, you know, anybody with talent, but especially Hmm. I feel like they've definitely disrespected the 90s era of artists, man. And I think I feel like we were one of the greatest eras. The 90s, um, to me, the night I've I've experienced all of it, heard it all, sang it all, but the 90s and the 70s to me were... They just were the hot absolutely ones. Right. the greatest it was. era it of really music. It really was. Era. Right. You know, and you know what, Dave, when I was at the Essence Festival, I was hearing the same things coming from SWV and Escape. They were mm-hmm. saying the same things. And and it's hard to come back. And they're coming back strong and they're trying. But it's like you got to leap over the stuff that's going on today. Almost as though you don't exist. The shenanigans. It's so, crazy. And this is and this is 
it's I, I guess it's all part of a plan, man. You know, on mm-hmm. Facebook that one time they put up that thing about this meeting that they supposedly had had where mm-hmm. they were going to do this and do that and then investing in the private prisons and all mm-hmm. that other mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the music was going to be, I guess, where was the degradation of the whole black community or whatever it is, so yes. to speak. And then you know they they based how many prisons they're going to build by the third grade test scores. Absolutely. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you. My wife's a teacher. I'm telling you, that's true stuff. They have it down to a science. So when you look at music nowadays, there's four, five, six stations in every city that you go to that'll play stuff like Migos, Travis Scott. You'll hear that Tank record. Uh, You'll hear um, uh, Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. But the rest of it is just trap, trap, trap. Mm -hmm. And then there's maybe one or two like 97.5, well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mention that, you know, like the traditional... <laughs> Name know, drop. The, it's Name only drop. Two, it's only two traditional R&B stations that cover it. Well, it's three now, but you don't see as much marketing and promo for them. And then when you listen to those stations, yeah. like back in the day when I did radio, if you played a song from a Stevie or something like that, it was like, oh, man, that sound good in the 90s. Right, but right. But now you hear Ribbon in the Sky... Like you would hear Bruno Mars on another yeah. station all day, so it takes away. So people get turned off by yeah. it. And so people our age, I noticed that when I first moved here, was that that's when Gucci Man and OJ the Juice Man was hot. Right. And I was like, what in the heck is this? <laughs> it's like on the Flintstones that last time, that one time when it was like, it's bug music. She had. It was like, ah. So it's yes, like, yes, yes, yes. I was like, I can't believe it. It was people. Standing on tables, I was at uh, Dugan's with uh, my girl Karen and them from Untapped okay. Talent. They were standing on the tables. I know they wasn't, but just a little bit yeah. younger than me. To the, yeah. and I mean, right. Now, I, when you go to barbecues and parties and stuff, right, you right. see the older people. Like I'd be forty eight on the thirtieth this month, and you right. see cats. You see cats Happy dancing birthday. and going crazy. Thanks, but I mean, I love the Migos. Yeah, right. I like Travis Scott. I like Future, but it's because. I think scientifically, somebody figured out it's like learning your Easter speech, right? Or learning right, scripture right, right, or play. Right, mm-hmm. right. The more you hear it, the more you practice That's it. That's right. The more it's gonna right. stay in your head. Like right now, me and your niece was talking. Kiki, mm-hmm. key, do you love me? Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. you riding? The That's more only like you three hear days it, into it, and, and it's why, crazy. Now, now tell you what's yeah. gonna happen. They're gonna f- figure out how to find a cleaner version for it and start playing it on the older. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and it's and it's just gonna trickle down, and it's like. Like I think Trey Songs is okay, but I don't think he's a great singer. But if I they think, flood, the I think he's like the birth child of uh, R. Kelly in his earlier years. Bro, but when you say talent, I don't think they really know what you mean. Uh, yeah. Explain to them what it was like yeah. recording oh back before goodness. all this digital chopping up and yeah. cutting and pasting and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Tell them about that, please. Well, I, I'm gonna tell you. F- if you didn't get it right, it wasn't like, oh, we're going there and fix it with the computer. Right. You ain't fixing it. You had to stand there and fix it. I remember when I first started, it was a song we had called Salty Dog. Right. And it was a part where it said, sagging, dragging. And I see I hit it flat then. Right. That's I what could I'm, not get can't that. Can't do that. No, you I couldn't can't get do it. that. Yes. I had to keep doing it over, over and, and over, and over, over again. And over and over you got again. it. Right. And then, I, my, my, like my, I have an original partner. My other partner, when me and my original mm-hmm. partner parted ways, we redid Why Have I Lost You by Cameo. Okay. It took us eight days to figure that out, for him to actually fix To hit that. that. I was so upset with him because my the guy, the label at the time, had hired an orchestra and right. all kinds of stuff. But it's like when when they started the computer usage, it was like, okay, cool. You know, um, da 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 uh, Don't worry about that, man. We'll fix it. And like, now, nah, I'll be honest. I've even gotten lazy because like. I just I just just telling you in the hallway, I just redid Baby and Ready by Gerald Levert. Okay. And because Look the vibe it. was so cold, yeah. I was like, man, I'm not going back in there and redoing that. Right. Because right. at the end I say, man, that wasn't bad for a first take. Yeah. And it really I only did it in two. Mm-hmm. But the only reason why I redid it is because a lot of the producers, even the older producers now, they feel like they have to have either that melodyne or the auto-tune on your vocals. I'm like, dude, you don't yeah. need that on my voice. Because like when right. you when you have that on there, it gives you the illusion that, that you're you actually can sing. singing. Yeah, that you're singing right. in key. Right. And, and when he took it off, it was like, Ugh. I was like, dude, who was that? I said, that wasn't me. <laughs> I said, man, it's like that because of your thing. So, uh-huh. And they've become preset yeah. in the studio where yeah. they have certain yeah. things they want to put on your vocals. And, and all of my so, engineers right. say, you know, I don't want to put anything on your vocals because your voice sounds good. And it's like, that's a compliment. And yeah. that's, that's an artist rapping. Now, singing... 
it's a it's a disrespect when somebody say, "Oh, let me stack it. Let me, let me stack that. Let me, let me let me put a uh, no, no, sir. It's no, not man. That's why I like, no. like that's why I like that's now. That's disrespectful. I like recording at home because on my setup, I don't have any of the presets or none of that. Stuff. And exactly. I did that purposely because mm-hmm. I'm gonna send it out. Now, if you want to put it on there afterwards, mm-hmm. but no, nah, first and foremost, I'm gonna give you that raw, uncut, illegal in 48 states. Raw. Bro, that <laughs> shut down that shut down Linux Mall. Man, that if I decide to sing in the middle of the food court, it's my court now. Man, you understand Look, that talent? I, I was telling a young man, uh, Bridget and I were at. Uh, we went out to eat with our homegirl Deidre. Uh, shout out CEI Hair Schools. And, shout, um, shout, shout. We went out to eat out at Linux Mall, and mm-hmm. afterward, it was a young man who said that he paid YRN, the Migos and them labels, three hundred dollars to go on a tour with them. Okay, but he had to. Get the money, so he was out there singing, mm-hmm. and I was like, "That grind right there." Just, just me stopping and showing him. People was like, Ugh. Huh? and I was like, "That's how you got to be aggressive." I said, "Yeah, right. I can't walk yeah. up to you with your head down." That's like, right. Begging. That's right. You got to go like, I, like the, they they used to always say the game is to be sold, not told. But mm-hmm. if somebody has sold it to me, I never have would have had the career that I had. Exactly. That's right. That's right. So I, I give it away. I, I just, you know, I think information is free. Because, yes. I, I mean, if they don't get it from me, they can go online and figure it out themselves. But I'm saying, if if I give it to them, but I'm saying, if you want me to go in the studio now, I'm, that's <laughs> a whole different thing. You know, invoice. I, I got hourly you rates get and invoice. group rates. You know what I'm saying? And I need half up front. I know that's right. I done. know that's right. <laughs> you, you Most gonna... cases you need the other half when you get there before yeah. you do anything. Yeah. I'm just going to drop that down real quick. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So many times you don't get paid. Hello. So, boy, I got some stories about that. Ooh, yeah, boy. speaking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I know you toured with a lot of people, bro, over the years. Yeah, and man. And so did a lot, just a give stuff. us a little window into what it was like touring with men at large. Man, we had so much fun, man. I, I, I have to say that I'm so grateful and thankful to God for my life. Mm. The ups, the downs, the highs, the, ho- the lows. Amen. Amen. I, I'm just being honest because... Um, so you know we our body of work is decent. It's not right. super huge. That's okay. right. But there'll be trillions and zillions of people that'll come after I'm gone off this earth mm-hmm. that won't be able to do five percent of what I've done. But I'm mm. telling you, I've worked with two of the greatest, most revered artists in the history of music. Mm. Wow, mm-hmm. Gerald and Eddie Levert. Oh yes. Oh, Happy wow. birthday to my man Gerald Levert tomorrow too. Man, Amen. that's my dude right there. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, man! I miss my bro. He I'm passed right you. after I met him, bro. Yeah. He invited us to the crib in Cleveland and everything. He was like, "Man, you got to come to the house. You got to let us cook. Love you got to do the thing." Love me some Levert. And today oh, is uh, Joe Little from the Rude Boys birthday. So happy what? birthday! Yeah. Happy Not birthday, Rude Boys. Joey. Hey, Joe. Call in if you can. Tune in if you can. What's up? What's and uh, you know, I, the tutelage that we got from them was amazing because I'm going to be honest, man. And when I tell people, man, we used to practice for like 11 hours a day. That's what folks don't do. No yes, sir. Oh, I'm telling Rehearsal. You. It was more than just standing up there holding on yourself. Thank you. Oh, boy. I mean, we had to, we had to dance until we really started singing, singing. Man. We just did a couple dance moves, but... I mean, it was eleven hours a day. They didn't. That's I mean, it. we had water in a hot room, <laughs> and and Gerald and them would come in there. Well, Gerald would be on the roll live, but Eddie would come in there. Man, that's bull. You gotta do it like this, and you <laughs> and you walk up to her and you grab her hand and you sing to her and you put her face. <laughs> yep. His breath smelling like two liters, yeah. but <laughs> nah. Right, but man. I, I just. Man, we, we got a you know we got a story, man, and uh, and uh, I've been lobbying, lobbying, and lobbying for unsung, man, and you know. I, I've been seeing, you know, they talked to, to a couple people, told a couple people that are prevalent in the business said that they were going to do it, but they couldn't find enough information that was, but I got the storylines for them. <laughs> I know I'm that's ready. right. Y'all hear that? I know that's right. Do y'all hear right. that unsung? Y'all, first and foremost. Shout out to you. Listen first up. First and foremost, two big dudes that came out there with confidence. Man, you Heavy D started it off. Right. Yeah. But Heavy D wasn't singing. Right. Two big okay. dudes singing, give, give smelling him a, Give them a taste. Let, give him a let, taste. Let, let's hear what you made Give him a taste. <clears throat> oh, oh, say no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Baby, it's time for me to give you all the love you need. Yeah. Now, baby, I know. That's the song. That you deserve the best. Mm -hmm. And I ain't been treating you like I treated the rest, baby. 
Baby, I'm ready to give you all of my love. Just a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, hey, everything else going to be invoiced. Girl, I'm tired Dave of playing Tyler. games. So many loves I can't even name. I got to let y'all. I should have uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. sent y'all the video. Well, I don't I'm have the video for that you. yet, but that video, man. Yeah. And I did it my way. Like right. I did right. elements of what he did, but I did it my way. And I Amen. had a young guy by the name of Brandon Landrum, a uh, young dude, because I wanted the Shout background Brandon. to sound a little, little younger. Uh -huh. um, you know, not just sound like, you know, I'm redoing the same thing, but I want to do it my way. And it's, I'm proud of it. I Amen. sent it to everybody yeah. but uh, mom and pop, and everybody yeah. else is giving me the, the, his son and daughter. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, man, go with it. So, you know, I got it, the final ones. I got, a, you know, mom and pop, but I'm going to put right. it out anyway. They're going to make a difference. Hey. Right. Right. That's right. I'm that's right. That's right. Do. Ah, and hallelujah. So, Thank you. Man, so that was real pure vocals right there, y'all. That's no, the real. You, you won't get that nowhere else. But And that was sloppy. So, I mean, <laughs> when it's, So, then, okay, now we're in the era where uh, somebody can hit you up right now on the email and say, hey, Dave, I need a verse. And you can go sing the verse and send it to them. And yeah. then in 20 minutes, be paid and it's done. And then you might hear your song on the radio in a few yeah. days and boom, 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 boom. Yeah. What has that done for you? I mean, I know the old school. Yes, mm -hmm. we got to do the old school. Mm -hmm. but oh, they, man, the old school took so long, man. Okay. It, was, it was always hurry up and wait. Now everything is, is, is done on an expeditious level. I mean, you can... I mean, you could put out a song, right? Like, you could go in the studio in the morning, mm -hmm. write it, record it, mix it, master it. Right. And doggone almost near have it out by the end of the day. Depending exactly. Because the there's so many different platforms where you can put it up and monetize it. YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, TuneCore, uh, right. all of them. Mm -hmm. you know so has I mean? that helped us? I think. Or has it I think hurt the, us? the ability to be your own entity right. has helped us, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it has hurt us as well, too, because like like I'm saying with the with technology, like I tell everybody, technology is the thriller and the killer. Okay. Right. It, it's, the, it's, the, it's the thriller for the point where it's allowed us to do any and everything we wanted to drop around. Right, right. Okay. You can be a label, you can be a studio, you can be an engineer, you can be right. a singer, you can be anything you right. want to do with this computer. Right. But on the flip side, the killer side, it has taken the passion out of everything. I'm mm. telling because you. Because now everybody's looking for the easy way, way. to do yep. something. Yes. Man, I'm yes. going to just, just, just put it up on, on Mixtape Live. I'm going to just you put know it up what? on YouTube. Right. I'm, I'm telling you, it, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It's so right. sad. Yeah. Yeah. So when I, when I was in the music business back in the day, the package that I was offered when they was trying to offer me a deal was the industry package. And that was a major billboard in every city, a bus in every city, um, you know, a certain amount of shows a month, and um, uh, 3,000 radio stations at the time. Yeah. That's all we had. All 3,000 radio stations, major rotation. <laughs> okay, right. so that's the whole package. Once you do that, right. that's what you call releasing, releasing your, your song. Music. Right. That's your right. music. So on a major scale. So what is it now, you being, just, you just did, redid a new song, mm -hmm. an independent, what is it now as opposed to that? on the independent level, to release a song? Man, I, uh, now, if you don't have a budget, you're just probably <laughs> going to be listening to it in your car for a long time. Or if you don't have a following, you're just going right. to be listening to it, enjoying it yourself. Um, mm. That's a mess. Like I was telling her, I said, a lot of these cats start off with some type of street backing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back in the day, that was prevalent, too. I mean, you know, the history of entertainment is street backing, black or white. It's, it's People had to know who you were. That's yeah, it. It's, That's it's it. street backing, but I'm talking about the money. Yeah, is, okay. You know, yeah. Be I got you. Legal yeah. or illegal street backing. True, true. And uh, now it's just you, you have to invest in yourself mm -hmm. for anybody else on a major label to a major level okay. that is that to serious. want to come and do anything with you. So if they right. don't see you doing anything with what you're doing on your own, mm -hmm. right. they're not going to be, you know, I, I see all these, I remember one time I was sitting on a panel and this guy was, you know, coming out and they asked me what I thought. I said, man, um, I said, Kat's been telling you the same thing. And, uh, you know, that this, that, and the third. And he said, man, I saw you seven years, you said the same thing. And I said, yeah, and now you, seven years later, you're still paying people to Hello. perform on the right. same Let's old say. open mics, and you ain't performing with nobody for artists. That's right. it. And I mean, it's just, I, I don't know, I think, you know, I'm going to tell you one thing that's different from black artists is, is different from the white. Okay. White artists do their research. Whether hmm. they have money or not, they do their research, hmm. they read, they go online, they take their time. Right. And they do it with a... 
I don't, I don't want to say sense of class or sense of pride because I don't want to demean anything that right, we're right, doing. Right, 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 right. But they do things different. They yeah. find the avenue in which relates to what they, they're trying it. to do. That's and it. then they find that's the person it. that's the most important in yes. the avenue and they reach out to them and that's they find it. out and then if at they're the going to support time, them. Too, we, they don't take it for granted. We right. don't take it for granted because we feel like, oh, we're black. We created this medium and it's ours, so it's supposed <laughs> to pay dividends to me. I can that's always lay I, back on my talent. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I don't know why people were so mad at Macklemore because that's the way he did it. And of course, right. of course, they're gonna have some type of advantage or privilege, right. you know. But, but he did it the way we used to do it: grinding right. and hustling out the trunk of your car. That's it. E forty. Shout to E forty for being short. the first that's one it. to go. That's ghetto it. platinum. A shout to Master P for being the second. Hello. Okay. The thing is, is that you have to work your business you like do. it's a business. Yes, you and do. And that's what he did. He that's just kept pushing until they open the doors. That's yeah. it. That's and it. And so now we don't have that zeal in the artist, like you said, and they just expect things to get done for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, another thing, too, they don't have any examples. Mm. True, like, true. we had great examples Yeah, that's of true. People, and, that's and true. It wasn't necessarily people that we could see all the time, but right. because of the examples and because other That's groups it. that were that came before us, right. even on a local level, they were so polished, man, and oh, put right. together. Yeah. They had stage shows. They yes. had yeah. uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. They had... Um, they were ruly, you, you know what I'm saying? They weren't unruly. They were respectable. Exactly. And they, they put on shows yes. because of what they saw, but I, I don't know what happened from... I think when it started in the '90s is when, and we're kind of responsible. Part of responsible is we we started going towards hip hop, right. right? And I can tell you, man, that's all we man, that's all we used to do. <laughs> rap, rap, Shout rap, out to like, Jazz Allen, we see you. Rasan Hillman, we rap. see you. And um, they were going to let us do a rap album after our first album, right? Wow. And then Sylvia Rome was like, "No, we don't want to, you know, ruin your core audience." Man, we probably would have made more money off <laughs> rap than singing. So you mean to tell me, hello? I think I just heard that he got bars. Yeah. He talked yeah. about his son having bars. Yeah. Now I he's sit around and freestyle. He got bars. That's all we yeah. used to do was sit around and freestyle Uh-oh. all day. That's all we used to do. Uh-oh. Right, right. That's all we used to do was just just free rap. I mean, because I, like I said, I started off in radio, and the very first show I did was a show called Rapper's Delight with a guy named... Have you ever been over a friend's house to eat and nah, the food? That, that was I'm just show. saying. Okay. <laughs> with, a hip hop. Uh, this guy named MC Chill. I don't know if you ever MC Chill. Nah. He was okay. from Cleveland. He was one of the first cats in America to ever get his song played in New York. Because you know, mm. New York didn't play nothing but New York. Right. Wow. Back then. And he was uh, managed by uh, the guy that managed the Fat Boys. What's his name? Statler? The, the white dude. Uh, I can't remember his name. Well, if you, see the, if you see the unsung, he managed MC Chill, too. So I, I, I'm sure he had a great part in getting his record played okay. in New York. You know, him and MC Bree was one of the first two cats outside of New York to get their records played in New York. Bree, the one that put Pac on. Oh, man. Y'all Ain't better no know that. Your wow. Y'all better know that. I put wow. my mind on my money. money. Anyway, this is a gospel show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it right. Voice keep it right. Voice right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise yeah. 108. You already know. Salvation do a and Leandria. glory. Right. Seven, four, <laughs> do a Leandria on you. <laughs> oh, don't do Leandria. <laughs> oh, boy. We don't need you getting kicked Did up out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's my Jesus. I was reading that. Leandria just got live. She just said too much out of her mouth. Mouth and got, she got kicked out and got canceled out on the Essence Festival. No class, like none, you said. Like none. You said. Like school on Sunday, no, no class. class. Bro, fat hour. Uh, I mean, we, that's what we need to get into too is artist development and oh, they don't do the that. thing that makes an artist an artist. That's it. And now you just have people that because they think they have a little bit of rhyming skills, they just they become just an go artist. Go out there with anything. No stage presence. I None. mean, I find None. myself being the teacher yeah, <laughs> every time I go what? to a show. Well, actually, yeah, you a preacher like, now, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what's crazy? So this guy told me like on my I do a little uh, little radio show on Mondays and we were doing Plug. songs dedicated. I ain't gonna say it. I'm, I'm cool because it's not really. I just do it just now at this point until I find me a building. Just mm-hmm. to say I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? People we we can work this together. Soon. We can do a building together. Huh? Huh, Courtney? We can do us a building together. <laughs> just a place to come <laughs> instead of just being at home on the phone. If you ever want to be put on the spot. <laughs> I'm going to say blog talk radio sucks. Oh, Courtney's always break time. I guess I'm talking blog too talk much. Radio. If you ever want to be put on the spot, <laughs> deal with Carol. 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 <laughs> And All you want right. to have your producers pulled into the show <laughs> constantly. Deal with Carol. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. Oh, so, 
This is, well, somebody said the other day, they said Drake was whack because we were talking about him on the show, about that kid, kid. What? And, and I was like, well, I said, I, I agree, but I don't, I really don't agree because Drake really does have bars. Man, Drake is off the chain. And mm-hmm. I said, well, you can't really blame these artists right. that are winning. Right. Let blame us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the level of things that we will accept, accept. that's technology. That's it. That's the level of it. things that we will accept determines who's the most popular, who's selling the most units. That's exactly. Like, the Migos, to me, they're not that bad, but they're like a a poor man's copy of Bone Thugs and Harmony. They do oh, what wow. they do. And I mean, even Bone Thugs and Harmony to me, and they from Cleveland, my yeah. homeboys. Right. Yeah. Even them to me was kind of like. Shout out eh, to Bone Thugs. Eh, Bone Thugs, my thug, you know. I've been trying to get do records with them for years. Man. Oh. Like how y'all do the Georgia Power here? I yeah. wanted to do uh, Levert, Gerald, Men at Large, Rule Boys, Avant, Bone Thugs, and wow. Harmony. And I just couldn't. Nobody would hear me. What? what? Nobody would hear me. They listening now. Y'all La- listening lazy, to what my boys said. Lazy been MIA for the past 10 years because I've been trying to get in touch with them. We used to be tight like nuts and bolts. But we're going to take a short break here, y'all. And um, we're going to get do, back man. in in After the game. Unsung. Yes, sir. Once they feel like they blowed up, I'm gonna act like that too. After I get on, (laughs) (laughs) after you get on, y'all hear that? It's on and here on page 108, y'all. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Oasis Radio Radio, Montage Show. Miss Carol, poetic Dave Tolliver in the building. Shout out for Dave. Shop talk. Yeah, we'll be there. It's the only place I wanna be. I already know why. I mean, it's more than that, but. (laughs) <laughs> you know why though <laughs> Yeah I ain't even got to say it no more I know I'm on my way though Get ready Early in the morning when I'm standing at attention I'm missing your attention And the smell of your loving all over me I mean all over me Nothing better than waking up to perfection So perfected it's leaving me with no question That this is where I wanna be To put it in perspective I've given up the quest now I can't wait to come home You know my first thing smoking Baby, oh, I'm drinking yeah. Out here on the road Out here on the road I'm stacking all this dough Gonna keep you satisfied I can't wait to come home That feel good inside So it's a position that got me tapping out You can't take it no more, baby, you're tapping out It's like A, B, C's the way you school me I've been thinking about it, baby, I'm ready Cause you got that love that I need So baby, hold on to me Check. Are we on the air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay, Are I hear myself. Uh, hold up. Hey, got all, all the rappers. Turn me up in the headphones. Right. <laughs> Turn me up in my headphones, son. Shout oh, out on the man. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we back. We back. 
We back and we black. Listen, we, we got black. Mr. Dave Tolliver in the black. building for a minute. That's Lord. my butter. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that song just now? Oh, that was the new video. That was sweet. Y'all saw the video? You see the look in his eye? Oh, man. He had that look. He got that look in his eye. He had that look. I don't know what happened after the song was performed, but... uh. <laughs> we left him out of it. I was exhausted. He just blew the prestige of that. No, I'm I'm <laughs> Set him up with so, so, stuff happened. So, Dave, we was at a bar. You, you done toured with everybody, you done been everywhere, you done seen everything. Yeah. What is the craziest moment? Uh oh, here we go. Uh oh. Here we go. Has ever happened? Oh boy, they threw their drawers the in your face. We want to know. Uh, that that happened, but <laughs> oh, it has. See, that I told ain't, you. That's oh, that, not ain't, the that ain't crazy because that happens normal. to you all the time. I'm tell you, oh, of course, this, I bet. Here, here go unsung. Story all right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we had a song on our first album called "You Me." Um, mm-hmm. And and in the end of the song, I'm rapping. Of course, I'll tell you like right. And it goes. I ain't down with OPP because there's HIV and all I want it to be is just you and me. And me, right. Uh-uh. We almost got jumped. Bars. In New York. Shut the door. By naughty by, it wasn't naughty by nature, but here's the story. We were in New York doing uh, the uh uh-uh Good video. It's a record we had. And uh, Salt and Pepper had this club called Broadways. And uh-huh. I was like, dog, after that video, I said, I'm going out, I'm going out. Right. And we had went, this was Wendy Williams was on the radio, so we went to a radio show. <laughs> Shout out to Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. And, and that was really version. the start of it. And it was like, uh, you know, she was saying, you know, about some beef or something that was going on. I was like, nah, man. I said, man, we love Naughty by Nature. This, that, and the third, blah, blah, so blah. So Wendy blah. started it. Well, I don't know if she started it, but mm. the next thing hmm. I know, hmm. after we finished the video, everybody was calling me. Y'all heard what, what Trutchenden was saying about you on the radio? I'm Uh-oh. like, what you talking about? He said, man, they was calling you all kinds of fat this and fat that and this, that, and the third. Shut the door. And I was like, what? I was like, man, whatever. Get so I said, man, well, wait till we see him. We're going to see him. Uh, right, 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 right. And I, I'm not, I mean, I'm a lover, not a fighter, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> but I wanted to clear it up. I don't like violence. I grew up in a violent Amen. home as a kid. I don't like violence. I Amen. hate it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we left and we, and you know, they, the Atlantic sent us the car service. Hmm. So everybody in my camp was fat. My, me, my, my, my partner, my road manager was bigger than us. And we had a little bitty background. So <laughs> we went right. And so we got in the car. Okay. So I didn't make it quick. The first car we got in, the axle broke. Oh no. Nah. My dude, my partner, his, his dad was in the van. He's like, man, that's God trying to tell us something, man. We shouldn't go. We shouldn't stay. Exactly. So wow. I said, I said, in you stay your A here. I'm gone. <laughs> I said, I'm going out. Uh-oh. Right. So he came anyway. The next car came. We went. Long story short, we went in there. I saw Vin Rock. I was like, what's going on? Then he said, yo, man, y'all do, y'all do. I said, he said, man, I said, man, what, why y'all beefing with us? He said, I said, what if we had been comedians? And then he said, man, that's comedy, man. This is this. It was just talking about Lil Mike Tyson. Yeah, it was yeah. just stupid. Yeah. His explanation. I was like, man, we love on, y'all. Yeah. I rock your cassette in the car all the time. Cassettes. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. right. Well, and, then we, and we pounded it up. So we went back and we did an on air thing. And then I, I mean, everybody was in the LL. So I, I didn't even run So it was a misunderstanding. Yeah, so we went back to the front and I saw Trax. And he was talking to DJ Wiz, Kim Plays DJ. All right. And I'm like, Trax, what up, man? He, he was laughing. He's like, yo, yo, he turned around. And the smile dropped. Uh oh. And then all I heard was, <laughs> what was what? That's the call. So we said, I'm playing a video game because I'm chilling, waiting on the car to come back. Uh-oh. So they say the car coming. So next day I know, no, man, let me go. I hear some, 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 some. We family, this down the third. Tretch comes out and it's like a cloud of people coming out. Oh, behind snap. Me. Like I didn't know what was going to happen. Make Shut a long story door. short, he was like, he was like, F y'all, F the Vert, Shut F the, the OJs, F that. we can do it right here. He's like, you, 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 we can do it. And I'm like, okay, me wow. and my man could probably take him, right. but I'm looking at these other guys and I didn't know what they were going to do. So <laughs> I was what like, they was holding. anyway, long story short, a few days later, we had a show with them at one of them stay in school jams. Nothing happened. I saw him again, probably two years later here in Atlanta at a party. He apologized and everything's cool, mm-hmm. but... It was it, it kind of hurt my feelings, man. Yeah. I love wow. Naughty by Nature, but you know that's just you know he was like, man, we didn't know how to be stars, man. You know we was and they was they was they had jumped uh, Wise Wise Z whatever one of them dudes. They was beating up right. everybody. What? They was trying to get the real Roxanne. If they could have got uh, Tony Braxton because she had a record sense, right. they would have right, got her right, too. Right, right, right. Wow. But, uh, you know, 
We so they was the 50 Cent of back in the day. Man. But I mean, they was really, <laughs> but he was really, yeah, when 50 beat up cats, yeah, they was, he was really, they was really beating uh, cats up, man. Yeah. He was like, we got such and such, we got such and such, and I'm about to throw all up right now. Wow. He said, man, y'all better get out of here before I go get my stuff from the car. Really? Next dude. day on the radio, they was like, man, Tratch, they didn't say no Tratch. They said Tratch, not no group of cats, but Tratch ran men at large out of New York ah, the next day. Wow. No. Crazy. <laughs> See, we can go all the way back with that. Thing. Started back up. That was the craziest that thing. That was crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That is, that's you crazy. don't want to get caught up in the middle of that kind nah, of stuff. Nah, man, you don't you. know what they're gonna do, man. You know, we, we, me and him, we, we grew up single parent homes. We right. was, we was nice guys, man. We right. was R and B dudes. We was mm-hmm. lovers, not fighters. I know he wasn't gonna fight. Right. <laughs> I know he wasn't. I know he wasn't gonna fight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what, Dave? I've been checking you out a lot, and you've been doing a lot of stuff on stage. Yeah, yeah, You've been yeah. Light yeah. the stage up. Oh man, you plays. know I've done, I've done too many. Plays. I've done like forty something plays. Wow. I, I've been I've been on stage with Clifton Powell, Thelma from Good Times, uh, Big Red from the Five Heartbeats, mm-hmm. uh, Ralph Tresman, Johnny Gill, Dave Hollis, nice. Jim wow. Bert, Sean Bert, Dave Hollis, everybody, everybody. And now I mean now you, we got a few minutes left. I'm, I'm in the process of writing my uh, on my own. It's, uh, it was nice gonna be called that. Second Chance Dad. Wow. But it, it's about the real actual story about me and my father. My father Ooh. was very abusive growing up mm. to my oh, mom wow. and to me. And but now we best buds. Cause, Amen. I mean, you have to. I had to free myself. If yeah, I yeah. if I didn't forgive him and move on, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. He would have killed me. Yeah, you as, were the one in parents bondage. or whoever chooses to be the responsible one. I'm gonna close it out with this. We have to decide what our relationship is going to be. The maturity level. That's of it. it. Yeah. As that's a it. child, you don't treat a toddler like you treat a, a, a middle school or a high schooler. You have to reestablish your relationship Amen. with them as a parent, as a child, everything. So remember Amen. that both sides. Everybody, facts, facts, facts. Thanks for coming, Dave Holland. Dave Holland. That's my butter just, You woo, just call that name twice, and that's my boy. That's Shout my Shout boy. Dave yeah. He's the yeah. first person to ever got me radio story. play. What? <laughs> Dave is the first person to ever get me radio play. He put my song on the radio Aww. for me, and I, I will Aww. be grateful for him for that. But, um, Amen for that. Big shout, you guys. We'll get into Shout more. Hopefully, we can get you to come Dave. back to the studio. Yeah, I'll come back anytime, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all heard it here. He wants me. He wants me. Yeah, yeah. You heard that. How about that? Close out with his song right here. Thanks yeah. for tuning Thanks in. Thanks for tuning One away in. Praise. One Shout away to everybody. Praise. Shop Talk crew. Everybody that's out there listening. Hey. Keep tuning in. Every right here. Yeah. Rocking with you at 7. Thursday Rockin night. Seven. That's what we're doing. Hit me up. Seven. Dave Minute Large. Yeah. And all his music is available for your purchase. Amen. Yes. You yes. Amen. On all platforms. Shout right out. Yes. Amen. Shout out for Dave. Mm-hmm. Amen.